Canadian Music Week in Toronto. Once a year in March, the city plays host to international recording artists, producers, manufacturers, and gurus. There are conferences, award shows, workshops, a music festival, a film festival, a comedy festival, and showcases. The showcases feature some of the very best up-and-coming recording artists in the land. KX Country presented one such showcase at the Cadillac Lounge on Queen Street. Mackenzie Porter, Jess Moskaloop, and Tim Hicks were among those featured. I'm Natalie Fournier, and you are about to meet those artists at the KX Country Showcase. She comes from humble roots. Born and raised on a cattle and bison ranch in southern Alberta, Mackenzie was all of four years old when she began studying piano, violin, and voice. Singer, songwriter, musician, accomplished actor, who are your influences? Um, you know what, I have a lot of different influences. I would say a big influence into um, my music would be that I was um, started classical music when I was four. So a lot of the violin parts that I add into my songs, or even melodies when I start writing, I always play on the violin. <laughs> range from anywhere from from country um, to rap to pop to I don't know rap um, to every sort of musical style. What's next for Mackenzie Porter? Um, actually, right after uh, Canadian Music Week, I'm going to go back down to Nashville and record my second single. So um, it should be coming out hopefully within a month. Songwriter Jess Moskaluk stepped into the spotlight in Saskatchewan at the age of 15. All of you. Tell us about when music became a passion for you and when did you realize that this is what you wanted to do? You know, a lot of uh, performers, I'll say, I've found have wanted this for a very long time. And not that I've wanted it any less than anybody, but I kind of started that music could be my career when I was about 20 to be honest with you, when I decided it could be a real career. I've always liked singing, but I was never carrying a microphone around when I was five years old and trying to write songs and stuff. I won't let it fall on me. I won't Her many YouTube performances have been viewed by millions, including the people who make it happen in Nashville. I've been going to Nashville for about two years now, once a month-ish, and I've always just felt extremely welcome there. And it's become less about just country music in Nashville and more about music in Nashville, I've found. If we were writing a song together tonight about the Cadillac Lounge experience and the KX Country Showcase, what would it sound like? It would be high energy because I'm really excited to play tonight. I like Shelly, she likes Ford. I'm on a mess, she's a Ford. Tim Hicks. He's been singing and playing guitar since he was eight years old. He lives in Port Weller, not far from St. Catharines, Ontario. Seemingly overnight with your single, Get By, was this something that just took you by surprise, that it would resonate so well with country music fans? Nobody saw it coming. Yeah, it was one of those things where uh, country music fans are connecting with it and they seem to really like it. And I mean, I, I was prepared for my first single to, to come out and tank. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where you know, you're never quite sure how it's going to go. And it's just been so exciting watching it rise. And, uh, and yeah, it's just, I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's very exciting. You just celebrated the birth of your daughter, Anna Lee. How do you plan on juggling fatherhood and <laughs> your ever-growing music career? Well, you know, it's one of those things where it, the music thing is what I've always done. And my wife and I have known each other since we were six years old. So she's watched me grow in, into uh, professional music. And uh, it's something that we've talked about. And uh, I think we're, we got our head around it. And I think we're prepared for it. It's not ideal having to be away. But uh, that being said, it's just it, it, music is what I do. And you know, we have a great support net with mums and grandmas and aunts and uncles and everybody around us. So everybody's uh, stepping in to pick up my slack while I'm away. How did the name Anna Lee come about? I'll tell you exactly where it came from. It came from uh, the band. 
Yeah, staying keeping Lee company. Yeah, and, and the truth is, we were looking for a name, and I was doing a gig in Niagara Lake, and my wife came uh, to the show. And she rarely comes because we have a, a young son as well. Uh, we got a babysitter, and she came, and we were singing that song as a cover at the end of the night, you know, where everybody was taking a verse. And I sang that line, and when I sang, staying keeping Lee, I looked right at her, and she gave me this look, and as soon as I walked off, she said, oh, it's got to be Anna Lee. At 30-something years old, numerous bands, hell-raising performances, and some excellent songwriting with friends like Tyler Hubbard and Brian Kelly of Florida Georgia Line, Tim finally got to record an EP that features his blazing first hit, Get By. Jess Moskaluk is with MDM Records, Tim Hicks with Open Road Records, and Mackenzie Porter is with Road Angel Records. Visit their websites for concerts nearest you. I'm Natalie Fournier. Thanks for watching. Keep on rolling, keep on rolling, keep on rolling out of my side. Keep on rolling, keep on rolling.